Hi friends, welcome to Adda 24-7. We are in the 2000 MCQ series for RBWM and presently we are in chapter number 6 and 7. We are covering all the objective questions. So, uh, follow the series completely. Okay, so let's start without wasting the time. The moratorium period in case of vehicle loans is generally considered as what? Okay, what is the moratorium? In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Okay, let me get it one by one. In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Everyone. Home loans. In home loans, the moratorium period is generally. Yesterday, I have taken this. Type in the comment section, everyone. In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Yeah, it is 18 months. Correct. In 18 months for new construction. In old houses, no moratorium. Directly. Disburse it, full amount and take it. Okay, that's it. So, what is it in case of vehicle loans now? Vehicle loans. 6 months, 3 months, 2 months and 1 month. So, what is it? There is actually, yeah, let me see in the comment section, what are you answering? Let me see your comments, everyone. Yeah. 6 months, 3 months, 2 months or 1 month. In case of vehicle loans, huh? We are considering vehicle loans over here. So, answer fast, yeah. It is, it is, everyone, everyone, be fast, yes. Let me see in the comment section, yes. Vehicle loans, two-wheeler, car, personal, uh, not personal, two-wheeler, car, all these, basically these two loans. So it is given as, let me see. Yes, it is. Actually, there is no moratorium period, but one month is considered as the moratorium period. Why? Because when we disburse it, after that, after one month, the customer starts repaying. Right? That is the logic. So, actually, there is no moratorium period. Okay? No moratorium period allowed for vehicle loans. But in an exam, if it comes and if we don't have the option of no moratorium, understand this, whatever, whatever I am saying. If there is an option of no moratorium period, you will write that. But if there is no option given of no moratorium period, don't get confused. It is one month. Okay. Next one. The repayment period in case of new car loans, new cars is generally up to. So this repayment period for new cars is up to what? Again, let me see. Get it from you. I'll give you one minute to answer, everyone. I'll give you one minute. Let's see. By the time I'll just tell you before, uh, by the time you answer, say this, call the number given over here. On the screen, you are seeing that number, the flashing number, call it. Join the paid batches. Okay. Yeah, very important. So, have you got it, everyone? What is the answer? New car loans. New car loans is 60 EMI, correct? 5 years. New car loans is always 5 years. New cars, huh? Now, vehicle loan, many of you get confused in vehicle loan. Vehicle means which vehicle are we talking of? We are talking of two-wheeler, we are talking of car. But we are not talking of commercial vehicle. Suppose truck loan. That is not considered as a vehicle. That is a commercial vehicle. Okay. So vehicle loan is separate. Got it? The repayment period in case of used car. Now look at this. We are talking of used car over here. In case of used cars is generally 36 EMI. What is 48 EMI? 60 EMI and 72 EMI. So, it is used car, second-hand car, right? So, here, that depends on 
what type of car you are purchasing suppose if i am purchasing very old car okay then the very old car the repayment period will be different it can be 24 months also it can be 12 months also depending on bank to bank so it's it, it's upon the bank to decide what should be the repayment period for the used car loans okay depending on the life of that car okay but generally for used car it is everyone what is the answer let me see what is the answer you guys are giving it is for used car it is 36 months 36 okay for used car loans we are giving 36 months and for new car loans it is just uh, fifth, uh, what five years 60 months right have you seen for two wheeler two wheeler loans okay tell me for two wheeler what is the period for two wheeler generally two wheeler two wheeler loans are given for what two wheeler loans type in the comment section two wheeler loans are given for what period which period are the two wheeler loans given yes everyone two wheeler two scooter bikes okay it is three years correct 36 emi scooter bike two wheeler anything it is three years okay 36 emi next one before going ahead everyone here to join the adda 24 7 telegram channel here we are having a separate officers at that 24 7 telegram channel to join this telegram channel scan this qr code okay scan the qr code over here and to join the youtube channel scan this qr code okay scan it fast so why should you join this channel tell me why should you join the reason is all the latest updates from iibf understand is from the latest updates from iibf regarding jib and cib they are updated on the channels immediately okay number one number two number two you get free youtube series right now what are you watching you guys are watching the same free youtube series so the same free youtube series you get it on this on uh, this channel also okay so that's why join this telegram or the youtube or the third channel third channel there is an instagram channel also so join that instagram also okay next one in case of personal loans banks have the following type of security so for personal loans what do we take as a security personal okay pl for personal loans what type of security do we take mortgage of property Ch charge on future income no security any of the above at the discretion of the bank so tell me do i take the mortgage of property for a personal loan property is taken for which loan property is taken for which loan yes see here pro pro property is taken for it's not taken for home loan in home loan we create the property that is called as prime security when we take the property as a security we take it as a collateral which which property if it's an existing property this one okay so mortgage of property is not taken even on home loans home loans we take the mortgage on the new property to be built prime security on collateral security we don't take it for home loans right this mortgage of property is taken for commercial loans for personal loans it's not at all there charge on future income that is also not there see here, some banks do go for this uh, they have a system in nationalized banks some nationalized banks that you will require the uh, this company company to give you the this uh, in writing then they will deduct the emi from their salary and pass it on to you but these things are gone now nobody does anything okay so charge on the future income that is also not done no security that is the answer in personal loans there is no security 
PL is given merely nowadays on the basis of the civil score. Merely on the basis of civil score only. Okay. So that's why in case of personal loans, no security is taken. Okay. Next one. The credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, which of the following types of loans. Credit risk. Credit risk means what? Firstly, you need to understand credit risk. Credit risk means the default risk. Default risk means the borrower not paying you. Suppose if I give a loan to you and if you don't pay, then I'll be in trouble. So that is known as credit risk. So the credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, the loans? Personal loans. Home loans, vehicle loans, and all of the above. Yes. In which type of risk, uh, uh, in which type of loan, the credit risk is higher? Everyone. Let's see one by one. In home loans, I am having the home, right? The home which I uh, take as a prime security. I have that as a uh, that as a security. Suppose if this buyer or borrower does not pay me, then what will happen? I'll mortgage, the loan is, home is mortgaged to me. I'll sell that loan and get my money back. In case of vehicle loans, the vehicle is hypoth... Yeah, tell me one thing. What is this uh, vehicle done? It is uh, mortgaged, hypothecated or assigned. Tell me that. In vehicle loans, is the vehicle mortgaged? Hypothecated or assigned? What is it done? Type in the comment section, everyone. Is the vehicle mortgaged, hypothecated or assigned? Everyone, yes. It is. It is hypothecated. Vehicle is always hypothecated. Okay. Home loans, home is always mortgaged. Okay, mortgaged. Got it? This... Uh, what gold loan gold is always pledged okay then fdod fd is leaned leaned okay leaned then lean got it Chalo. let's move on the delinquency rate is higher in case of which type of loans so where where is the delinquency means what failure default the default rate is higher in which type of loans Personal, home loan, vehicle loan and all of the above. Which type of loans will you find this default rate as higher? Yeah. Personal, home loan, vehicle loan and all of the above. Where the person will be least concerned, borrower. Where the borrower will be least concerned or least worried about the loans. In which of them? Borrower will be least worried. In which of these loans? Is it in personal loan, home loan, vehicle? In home loan, the borrower will be afraid. If the borrower doesn't pay the EMI, bank will, uh, this property is mortgaged to the bank, bank will sell off that property. Vehicle loan also, the, the uh, borrower will be afraid. That if he, he or she does not pay the EMI, the bank will sell off the vehicle. But in personal loans, there is no security. So the borrower will be least afraid. So therefore, the delinquency rate or the failure rate of the personal loans is much, much higher. Okay. And for to counter this, what do we do? To counter this, we always follow the civil score. The person with the higher civil score, there are less chances. See here, I am saying chances. It's not that the person will not default. There are less chances that the person will default. In case of personal loans, if with a higher civil score. Okay, so that's why in personal loans we take the help of civil or now it is not only civil, there are three to four agencies. One is civil, second is Equifax, third is TransUnion, right? Dun and Bradstreet. So there are various agencies. Got it? Now, everyone, before going ahead, download Adda 24 7 app. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests, everything. Whatever we need, you will be getting it over here. Okay. So download it, uh, download it immediately and start studying. Because when are the exams? Not in one month now. Not why one month? Not in 15 days now. Yeah, right. So start studying immediately. Okay. 
so uh, immediately download it and how to download it just go on app store again okay? this play store and download it immediately it's available type at that 24 7 app okay next one personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of the employee number of years in business annual income of of the business so personal loans are sanctioned generally in uh, on the basis of what yeah salary in case of employee number of years in business and annual income of the business so is it a to c all or is it uh, a and b only or is it b and c only so what is it what is it it is sanctioned on the basis of everyone sanctioned on the basis of personal loans are sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of employee is it on the basis of only salary or is it on the basis of number of years for businessmen here for salaried employees it's employee it's very easy just see the salary slip form 16 and you'll get the details of that custom right but businessmen business person there is a problem why because the balance sheets have to be checked you have to check the condition of the business you have to check check the place of the business so personal loans to business businessmen are always difficult okay annual income in case of businesses that is also a point so if i am giving a loan to any person now not only this number of years in business so b and c will be checked in case of business person but in case of employee also nowadays we check where how many years in salary in business or i'll write it here job also job okay because both the things are important even the salaried employee if the person is of temporary nature the job is of temporary nature then what so that's why a b and c all so a to c all is the answer okay so the answer is personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of all the three a to c salary number of years and annual income got it next one the amount now you might be seeing these numbers 251 250 where is it that's why i'm saying join the paid classes there i have shared all these question banks and i'll share it even the revision batches are coming up there also i'll be sharing these revision batches okay so join them immediately okay so the amount of personal loans is classified as big ticket personal loan small ticket personal loan small ticket personal loan for this purpose is a loan where the amount is so small ticket pl where the amount is what up to 10000 up to 20000 up to 25000 and up to 50000 seven we are in the 2000 plus mcq series and in this we are covering important objective questions plus some case studies numericals for the rbw today we'll be covering some theory mcqs okay for chapter number one right from the basics again okay so let's move on here if before covering this uh, objective questions i have to cover one important theory with you because we forget the basics of banking and this question is asked in the exam so two slides i'll cover the theory and then i'll be covering all the mcqs again okay so let's start ba what are banks basically banks are financial institutions okay let me get it from you because you all guys work in the bank what are the what are the banks what do you mean by banks bank does the job of bank is getting the deposits from somebody and lending it to someone simple getting the deposit from somebody and giving it uh, as a loan to somebody right so that is basically banking isn't it let me draw it over here for easier better to understand see if this is a bank okay bank what happens there is a depositor over here who deposits the money deposit then bank gives this amount as a loan to this guy loan how does the bank earn then this loan person will give the interest interest and 
this deposit person has given the interest so bank will again pay the interest to this guy interest only the difference is this interest over here this interest will be lesser let's say this interest is 7 percent then this interest should be at least 9 percent so that this gap of 9 minus 7 that is 2 percent that is known as nii net interest income Okay, this is known as NII, remember, it's not NIM, NIM is different, NIM equals to NIM, net interest margin, remember, by heart these two, we'll be getting one at least in the exam, NII upon yielding assets, they call it, or you just write it assets, it's actually yielding assets, yielding means which are performing assets, which are giving you the returns. So coming back, banks are financial institutions that perform deposit and lending function, obviously, okay. There are various types of banks in India and each is responsible for different, uh, perform different functions. So what are the various banks in India? One is Central Bank. Central Bank means RBI over you, RBI. Okay? It's not Central Bank of India, it is RBI. Second, Cooperative Bank, Commercial Banks, RRBs, Local Area Banks, Specialized Banks, small finance banks and payment banks now if you see this these are all how many three plus three six plus two eight right eight types of banks plus there are others which are not added over here mm. investment bank okay investment bank is not added over here because that's a totally different feature but then also it's a part of banking okay so that is one part what are the what is bank and what are the types of banks now importantly which is asked to you in exam is rrb we always ask you about rrb because rrbs are actually nationalized banks as of now okay these are special types of commercial banks that provide concessional credit to agriculture and rural sector concessional credit remember concessional credit to agri and rural sector okay so these banks, these are special, see your name itself, what does it say, rural, regional, regional means related to that region only. So concessional credit to agri and rural sector. RRBs were established in 1975 under the registration, uh, registered under the RRB Act 1976. Remember, this act is of 1976 and bank is in 1975. Remember, these two years are reverse. Huh? Generally, in case what happens? Act is first and banks are later, like in RBI Act, 1934 Act and then bank in 1935. But here it's reverse, that's why this is important. RRBs are joint ventures between central government, state government and commercial banks. Now what is this? This, uh, it means any RRB which is formed, 35, 50% uh, of the funds or the capital is from the central government. So, uh, state government has 15% of the capital and commercial bank. Now commercial bank, this is known as the sponsor bank. Sponsor. Okay. This sponsor bank holds 35% of the equity of this RRB. In fact, that is the fight going on right now. See here. From your exam point of view, remember, this is the structure. Central government 50, state government 15 and commercial bank 35. Right now what is happening? Government is coming up with a thought process that why should these be kept it this way only? Can't these RRBs be a separate bank? Separate bank altogether, no sponsor bank. Can't these work like this? All the RRBs can be combined in India. So this is a thought process. But from exam point of view, remember, central government, state government, commercial uh, banks. And this is these are the proportions. Okay. Everyone download Adda 24-7 app on your mobile and in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests, whatever we require for clearing our JIB as well as CIB. You will be getting it over here. So that's why download it right now. Now let's go to the question part. And what did I tell you? Some part I'll be covering two slides theory and then I'll be going to the questions. Today we'll be covering some basic questions which we forget. We take it for granted that we know. But we, we don't know. So that's why we'll, focus, we'll be focusing on that. Bank passbook is issued by the bank, contains the transaction details of the bank account, shows the balance in the account and all of the above. So what is the bank passbook? Issued by the bank, correct? 
Now this is these are simple questions. Let me get the answers fast from you. Because if these simple we are not able to answer, how will we answer the difficult ones? So the answer over here is A, B, C or D. It is D, all of the above, right? Bank passbook is having all these three features. Okay. Bank pays interest on deposits, loans, both A and B. So bank pays interest, remember, pays interest on what? Pays. Pays interest on deposits, remember. Deposits, simple, isn't it? Next one, bank charges interest on. So bank charges interest on deposits, loans, both A and B. None of the above is out. So loans, right? Just now I told you. Subscribe to Officers at that 24 7 YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting the latest updates on JIB and CIB, and importantly, you will be getting free YouTube series. Okay. So uh, definitely subscribe. How to join this? Join our uh, through our this uh, Instagram channel you can join plus YouTube channel plus this Telegram channel. You can scan the QR codes given below and uh, you can call on the numbers given. See this right side number is given. Now a bit difficult one. Huh? Earlier one were simple. Now difficult one. Education loans. They cover what? Tuition fees and expenses are repayable after completion of the course. Granted for studies in India and abroad and all of the above. Now see here, B is correct, C is correct, but what about A? Does education loan cover tuition fees and expenses, other expenses you can call it, other, okay, other. Does it cover the hostel fees? Does the education loan cover my um, daily expenses for staying there, my food expenses or does it cover only tuition fees? So the correct answer is, that's why I said, now we'll be covering, coming to the difficult part. It is D. R repayable after completion of the course means what? See here, education loan, how, it, how is it given? Suppose if I give that education loan today, today, okay? So this guy will be requiring guy or girl, it's not a gender biased. So this guy or girl will be requiring at least, let's say that person is doing engineering, okay? So that person will require around four years, so four years gone over here, up to four years, this person won't, this student won't be able to pay any interest on uh, interest on this or any EMI on this. So what do we do? This is known as a, this moratorium period. In this moratorium period, the student is allowed not to pay any interest or principal on this. But does it mean that we have waived it off that, oh no, forget it. You won't pay it off. No, this is paid, but later. After completion of the course, then we give still one year more, one year for job, right? After this job, this, then your EMI starts. So here what happens, you whatever is pending for these four plus and five years, these five years, whatever this interest is, that is taken from that student. Bank, you see here, after all, it's not bank's money. It's uh, depositor's money. So we are just the trustee. How can we waive off any amount, okay? So that's why it's payable, uh, repayable after completion of the course and obviously granted for studies in India and abroad. That's obvious, isn't it? Business correspondent means, now that's why I said difficult level questions are coming up. Business correspondent means, what is a business correspondent? You all have VCs now in your banks? See here, nationalized banks have nationalized, I'll just write N over here. And second is private banks, P, okay? Private, oh, let me write it only here. Because what happens, NNP doesn't signify anything. Nationalized and second is private. Okay, let's keep this private. So, nationalized banks have what? They have, nationalized banks have BCs, business correspondent. These are private agencies basically. Similarly, private, and these private banks have what? Similar to BCs, they have what? There is one word. Okay, what is that word called as? Private banks. We have these cases going on against all these guys. Right? Yeah. DSA. Right? DSA. DSA. Right? Direct sales agents. Selling agents, sales agents. BC is business correspondent. So business correspondent means what? An agent who provides banking service. An agent of the business house. A type of money lender and none of the above. So who's this? Mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. It is A. Obviously, isn't it? It's A. 
who provides banking services here bc is always appointed in those areas where the bank doesn't have the reach doesn't have the reach does not reach means let's say there is a a small village of how many 20 houses there are many villages huh, which are 20 houses 30 houses 50 houses the population is hardly 200 300 400 max can you set up a branch over there with a 500 population you can't because if you set up a branch with 500 population over there what will be the cost your salaries your running expenses electricity and all this coming and going of those because employees won't be living in that village right they won't be staying in that village. they'll be staying in the nearby cities right so coming and going so what will be the cost so that's why what do we do we don't uh, open the branch over there we open a bc over there business correspondent private agency somebody from that uh, village itself will provide the banking services okay internet banking refers to operation of account through internet opening of account through app or both a and b now what do you think guys let me see is it both a and b or only a operation of account through internet means I'm having an account with you and I can deposit the money, withdraw the money, transfer the money, check the balances. I can do this. So operation means that. But can I open the account through app now? What do you say? I can, right? The answer is C, both A and B. Remember, internet banking refers to all. Who can open the savings account in India? Indian citizen, NRI, illiterate, all of the above. Hmm. Savings account. <laughs> Who can open the savings account? Savings account can be opened by Indian citizen. When it when the Indian citizen opens, it is called as what? Resident Savings Banks Account, RSB. Re Resident Savings Banks Account. Okay. When an NRI opens the savings account, it can be two types: NRO or NRE. Both are allowed. Okay. NRO and NRE non-resident external and non-resident ordinary okay both these are non-resident accounts illiterate yes obviously that is rsb only resident savings banks okay so anyone can open the savings account any eligible person can a child open the savings account so the okay let me get the answer over here the answer is d okay can a child open the savings account child give me that answer by the time we i'll move on to the next question can a child open a savings account? Yes. Yes. We have this uh, minor uh, minor guardian, right? About 10 years, the child can open it solely without any guardian. About 10 years. Okay. Chala, move on. PAN number is required for what? Deposits less than 50,000. Deposit in excess of 1 lakh. Deposit of 50,000 and above in a single day. All of the transactions. What is the answer? PAN number is required for? What is the correct answer? See, this is the correct answer for any deposit above 50,000 in a single day. Remember this, single day means, suppose if I deposit 10,000 now, then I deposit again 20,000 after some time, then again 30,000 after some time, so then I'll be requiring the PAN. Okay? So in a single day, got it? TDS as per income tax means TDS. What is TDS? Time deposit scheme, time, total deposit scheme, tax deducted at source and none of the above. TDS means? Yes. Tax deducted at source. This is the advanced tax which is paid by you and me. And we get a refund of this, right? Those who, how many of you file the income tax returns? File the, no, I'm not talking of form 16. I'm talking of income tax returns. How many of you are filing? So if you are filing the income tax returns, you will definitely get the returns, a refund. But if you are not filing the income tax returns, you are losing on that money. Because whatever TDS is deducted, you should get the refund. If your income level is be below, the obviously after below that, okay? Maximum amount of check in the bank is, so what is the maximum amount of check I can write? Tomorrow if I write a check to you of let's say 1 lakh crore, 
Suppose if I write a check like this, 1 lakh crore to you, obviously, if I have the balance, I don't have that much balance, neither you have, okay. But if, can I write the check of this amount? 100 crore, no limit, 1 crore, none of the above. I can write, isn't it? No limit. I can write any amount of check, okay. Maximum, minimum is also there. I can write a 50 paise check also, 50 paise. 2000 MCQ series. This series we are carrying out since last almost 2 to 3 months, 2 months. So 50 days, 50 classes we are having. So follow this series completely. There is a playlist available. Okay. So let me start for today's topic. See, today we will be covering all the MCQs related to yeah, in some important MCQs. All is not possible. Important MCQs. Okay. So let's start. First one. Maximum try, maximum we will try to cover. Okay. To meet the uh, physiological needs in terms of Maslow's motivation theory of the customers, the bank offers which of the following products? Now we will do it fast because almost we are having 20 questions almost in half an hour. So to meet the physiological needs as per the Maslow's theory, Maslow's theory means what? Do it fast now. Chalo. First one is what? Lowest level is what? We are, which is the lowest level in the Maslow's theory? Everyone. First is physiological. Physiology. Okay, second one is after that everyone comment section. I have taken this earlier. Second one is correct. Yes, safety. Correct. Third one. Third one. Yes, belongingness, social, anything. Social or belongingness, one and the same thing. Fourth, esteem. Right. And fifth one, which is the last stage, everyone, which is the last stage of uh, Maslow's hierarchy. Which is the last stage? Everyone, yes. Self-actualization, correct. Actualization, okay. This is the last stage of Maslow's hierarchy, okay. <coughs> See, this is divided as per the income level generally of the human being. If you are having lowest income, then you are in the physiological level. I mean, generally day-to-day -day bread earners, okay. Earn today, eat today, over. Then this person goes for some saving, safety, some insurance, slight insurance, social. This person goes, goes for some, some car, okay, means mid-size car, not the high-end high car. This person esteem goes for this higher level car, flat also, bigger flat. This is the actualization person, means roughly retired, okay, at the age of 60 or something, okay. So that person doesn't need any of these remaining products now, okay, so that's why. Coming back here, yeah, this is keep this in mind. We are having many questions on this. I won't be repeating it again and again. This okay to meet the physiological needs of the customers. Bank offers which of the following products? Physiological, huh? BSBA means basic savings bank account, personal accident insurance cover, consumer loans, and low cost housing loans, and all of the above. So, which is the one? See here, as per your book, now the answer can be any of these. Huh? These can be A, B, BSBA. It is a, it is a, uh, given to this, uh, to this lower earning guys, basic savings with Jandan account. So, that is given, right? Low cost housing scheme, that is also given. See, this D is also given, A is also given nowadays. Personal accident, this is also available now. Personal accident at the lowest premium. Okay, so this and consumer loans are also given nowadays. So answer is E, all of the above. Okay, so here some of the books write this answer as only BSB, none of the remaining ones, but it's not so now. This category has been targeted specifically after this uh, Jandan account schemes and that insurance schemes by the government. So this category has been targeted by many of the financiers now. <coughs> so that's why it is E all of the above. Which of the following business approach for retail banking is followed in new private sector banks? Here, business approach, segmented, geography based, classification based and mixed of, mix of segment and classification. So which is the one followed? Private sector banks, huh? private sector. Private sector always follows mix, mix of segment and classification. Okay, segment and classification. What do you mean by this? Segment means it depends on the customers. See here, if I am having NRI customer, <coughs> 
Some branches do have NRI customers, only NRI customers. Some branches do have only Kisan customers, farmers. Okay. So accordingly, some branches do have only businessmen, SMEs or MSME we call it, MSMEs. So depending on that, that branch is classified as per the customer base. Okay, segment. Second is classification base. Classification means this is rural branch, this is urban branch, semi-urban, so and so forth, so on and so forth names. Okay, so this mix of segment classification is follow. Okay. Tax planning, insurance, mutual fund provided uh, products are required by the customers to meet their, see here, these three, to meet their physiological, security, safety, social and esteem needs. Now go back to this uh, hierarchy which I have given. So tax planning, insurance, mutual fund, these are given, these are done by, for which level of the customers? Mutual fund, insurance, these are for security, safety, social, esteem, tax planning. Huh? <coughs> is it E? I'll give you one more option. E is B, C and D. <coughs> so is the option E? Correct, the option is E. Okay. B, C and D both. Physiological needs, this uh, insurance and mutual fund are not sold. Okay. Which of the following constitutes the basic structure of retail banking as per the recent trends? Basic structure means what do you sell basically? Retail assets only. Retail assets and liabilities. Liabilities and third party. Retail asset, retail liability, third party, all of them. So which of them forms the, forms the basic structure? Everyone first, yeah. It is retail asset. All of these retail asset, liability, and third party. Okay. Nowadays you are selling all, isn't it? You sell this uh, asset means loans, liability means deposit, and third party means all that insurance, mutual fund, right? Everyone download Adda 24/7 app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material, the live classes, ebooks, tests. What all we require for clearing JIB and CIB, we get it over here. So immediately, what do we need? We need ebooks, we need test, we need the live classes. So that's it. You are having everything over here. Okay. To satisfy the security or safety needs of the customer, bank offers which of the following products? So security and safety needs as per the Maslow's hierarchy. Again, go back to Maslow. Okay. First, first question. So what are the what all products are offered? Security and safety. Second level, now huh? see this. Physiological, safety, security, security, then esteem and actualization, right? To satisfy this security and safety, second and third level now. RD, FD, mutual fund, housing loans and cars, car loans. RD, FD, mutual fund, housing loan, car loans, tax planning and insurance. RD, FD, tax planning, insurance, mutual fund products, personal loan, consumer loan, housing loan, car loans. So which is offered for security and safety? This sec security or safety, in fact, it is not the social one, only this one. This Security and sa or safety only. This is the only one, okay? So this is the one we are targeting. For safety needs, this person won't go for car, basically. Because this person is just above this physiological level. So all the remaining three A, B and D are, are having car loans. So car loan can't be the option. So that is out. So answer will be C. Okay. The following have become the generic features in the savings bank account in the recent year. Generic features. Generic means common. So what? That is generic feature. So what? Means I'm giving ATM card. So what? I'm giving debit card. So what? Credit card. So what? Multi-city checks, so what? So, A and B only, A and B only, A, B and D, A, A to D all. All have become a generic features nowadays, isn't it? There's nothing new in this. Everyone knows, every customer knows these all products now. ATM, debit, credit and multi-city. Nowadays, the ATM cards are gone actually. They are now nowhere in this in the system now. Everywhere is debit card now. What is the difference between ATM and debit card? What is the difference? This, this. And this, what is the difference between these two, ATM and debit card? 
debit card can be used for purchasing also online atm card can't be used for purchasing it is just for withdrawal of cash okay that's the difference so that is gone now who uses no no bank gives atm card nowadays every bank gives debit card isn't it got it clear are you getting this everyone is it clear so shall i move on yeah chalo move on next which of the following banking products are not meant to meet the social needs social needs and not meant social needs again see this this should be by heart uh, by you. physiological safety social third third level now social esteem and actualization right so this now we are talking of the social needs okay which of the following banking products are not meant for social needs loan to professionals such as doctors lawyers basic savings banks account consumer and personal loans car loans and home loans so which is not there for social needs social social needs is a quite a rich person okay upper middle class so why does this customer need bsbi account this is for jandan this is for physiological right this will be given over here so that's why this is the answer bsbi right to increase the earning potential of a savings bank balances and current account balances banks offer which of the following so what do you mean by earning potential of savings banks here the more the customer keeps the uh, mab monthly average balance in the savings and current the more is the earning for the bank right because it's a floating money free money actually isn't it so banks will offer more products so that the customer keeps more savings and current account balances okay so sweep facilities add on group life add on group health and all of them obviously answer is what quite ob quite obvious answer is all of the above. isn't it everything bank will do nowadays for increasing the savings and current account balances casa balances products such as retail uh, gold coins health policies unit linked insurance product insurance cover are tagged to the housing and the car loans is a requirement of dash needs tagged means what what are we discussing over here tagging means what suppose if i am giving you a housing loan or a car loan so what will i say buy this housing loan or loan and car loan from me and get this free what free get this gold coin free gold coin okay get what this ulip unit linked insurance policy free okay so this is the tagging means i'll give this free on buying this product so which is which need is this required for self actualization esteem security social only b c and d remember self actualization is a senior person above all these categories so this person does not need all this tagging and everything it's only esteem social and uh, security and social so answer is e okay everyone and uh, this uh, join officers at that 24/7 youtube channel for joining this channel see here either on youtube or you can get the same on uh, linkedin or you can get the same on instagram you can join all the three all the three social media are important nowadays so join it on linkedin join it on youtube join it on instagram S scan these qr codes scan this one for linkedin this black one for this uh, youtube and this instagram this this qr code why should you join these channels because there are you are getting free youtube series on this uh, youtube channel plus on other channels you are getting instagram and linkedin you are getting what you are getting free tests you are getting free questions okay various updates various classes okay so that's why join them asap okay share it with your friends also which of the following defines retail banking defines the banking service that is geared primarily towards individuals individual individual customers the banking that deals with lending money to the individual consumer so lending money to the individual so that is also right rather than corporates and that part of the banking that is meant for small account holders see here small account holders okay see here time is limited now we have to cover these things in 20 25 minutes we are we are having many other questions answer fast so what is this 1 2 and 3 all of them 
Yes, it is 1, 2 and 3. C, correct answer is C. I have written the answer over here. Okay. For esteem needs in national hierarchy, the banks offer the following products. Esteem means rich guys. See this top one. Top one is actualization. Below that is esteem, right? For this rich guy, what do the banks offer? Special term deposit products, term insurance products, housing loans and house, house improvement loans. So which of them are offered to this rich guy? A to C all, A and B only, B and C only, A and C only. So it is A to C all. Okay. Next one. Which of the following is the characteristics of the retail banking? See here, which are characteristic of retail banking? Huh? The banking service that provided target the uh, target individual customers. So individual customers that are focused on mass market segment. So that is also okay. That is focused on large corporates. Is large corporates the focus of character retail banking? First, yes. Is it one, two, and three all of them? Or is it only one and two only? So the answer is B, one and two only. Large corporates are not the focus of retail banking. Pensioner loans, retirement loans in, bank, uh, in banking and pension plans, in insurance and senior citizen term products are offered by the banks for the customers to satisfy their dash needs. Now look at this. This is the fifth category, actualization, means above 60, pension, okay, retired person. So retired person will be focusing on what? Pensioner loans, retirement solutions, pension plans, right? This retired person will be focusing on these products. So what will be the answer for this? Self-actualization, esteem, security, social. What is the answer? A, B, C or D? Answer is A, correct? Yeah. See here, in the classes, the, re the revision batch for RBWM, I am sharing this question bank with you. This question bank is having around more than 700, 600, 700 questions with explanations. Here, here I have given only questions and answers. Okay. And I am giving, I am giving you the explanations. But in the question bank, you have this question, answer, correct answer and explanation as well given there. Okay. So that's why I would say, suggest join this revision batch. I will come to this. How to join it? I will tell you at the end. Which of the following is not a feature of retail banking? Not. Okay, these are provided by branches as well as virtual banking channels. So these are provided true. You want false, okay, false. They can be extended only to amounts in very small in size. This is something dicey, okay. Let me see this. These can be offered by both lab, uh, for both liability and asset product. That is also true. Means I, uh, what do we sell? We sell deposit as well as loans, right, all of them. These can be extended to small businesses also, small businesses. Okay, so that is also true. So these are all true. Which one is the dicey one? This very small size. So very small amounts. Is this answer? No. Why? Because retail banking, nowadays you purchase a housing loan. Okay. Minimum housing loan in metro cities is what? What is the house? Cost of the house in metros. 1 BHK flat, uh, 2 BHK flat and 1 BHK flat in Mumbai and Delhi. Main Delhi, they go for around what 1.5 2 crores, 2 BHK flats, right? 2 crores. So, if I give even 75% of that, so is this a very small size? No, this is false. So, the answer is B because we want not a feature, we want false only, correct? There are certain customer expectations about the service quality of the bank, which include tangibility, reliability, responsiveness, assurance, and empathy. So, what do the customers expect from the bank? All of them, correct. A to D, uh, what is empathy? A to E all. A to E all. All of them. Okay. The advantages of retail banking include higher interest spread, uh, risk spread over large client base, strong customer loyalty, high volatility in demand of the retail products. A to D all. A to C only. A and B. A, B and C. Only B and C. Many of you are going wrong over here. See here, I am saying in the comment section. See here, the answer is not A to D all. The answer is A to C only. Because high volatility is not the characteristic of retail banking. High volatility means this year my savings accounts were around, let's say, 1 lakh savings accounts. Next year, they are 20,000 only. Is this, this is known as high volatility. It, it's never like this in uh, retail banking. This changes by hardly 5%, 10%, not more than that, okay? 
the customers expect the bank to be willing to help them and provide prompt service this falls under the which of the following categories here prompt service this falls under reliability responsiveness assurance empathy prompt fast service so that is responsiveness okay the retail banking suffers from which of the following constraints so disadvantage which which is a disadvantage and we want to select the wrong one which is not the disadvantage over here okay that's what we have to select the problem in managing large number of customers yes this is true right large number of customers quick evolution of products uh, that lead to it complications yes quick evolution that is also true true availability of high spreads so spreads there are high spreads right so that is also true level of irregularity in this loans is very high this is false irregularity means nps more nps retail banking has less nps always remember nps are less in retail because why the risk is spread so the answer is this we want wrong one hi friends welcome to adda 24 7 we are in the 2000 mcq series for rbwm and presently we are in chapter number six and seven we are covering all the objective questions so uh, follow the series completely okay so let's start without wasting the time the moratorium period in case of vehicle loans is generally considered as what okay what is the moratorium in home loans what is the moratorium period okay let me get it one by one in home loans what is the moratorium period everyone home loans in home loans the moratorium period is generally yesterday i have taken this type in the comment section everyone in home loans what is the moratorium period yeah it is 18 months correct in 18 months for new construction in old houses no moratorium directly disburse it full amount and take it okay that's it so what is it in case of vehicles loans now vehicle loans six months three months two months and one month so what is it there's actually yeah, let me see in the comment section what are you answering let me see your comments everyone yeah six months three months two months or one month. in case of vehicle loans huh? we are considering vehicle loans over here so answer fast yeah it is it is everyone everyone be fast yes let me see in the comment section yes vehicle loans two wheeler car personal uh, not personal two wheeler car all these basically these two loans so it is given as Let me see. Yes, it is. Actually, there is no moratorium period, but one month is considered as the moratorium period. Why? Because when we disperse it, after that, after one month, the customer starts repaying, right? That is the logic. So actually, there is no moratorium period. Okay, no moratorium period allowed for vehicle loans. But in an exam, if it comes and if you don't have the option of no moratorium, understand this, whatever, whatever I am saying. If there is an option of no moratorium period, you will write that. But if there is no option given of no moratorium period, don't get confused. It is one month. Okay, next one. The repayment period in case of new car loans, new cars is generally up to. So this repayment period for new cars is up to what? Again, let me see. Get it from you. I'll give you one minute to answer. Everyone, I'll give you one minute. Let's see. By the time I'll just tell you before, uh, by the time you answer, see this, call the number given over here. On the screen you are seeing that number, that flashing number, call it. Join the paid batches. Okay. Yeah, very important. So have you got it, everyone? What is the answer? 
न्यू कार लोन्स न्यू कार लोन्स इज सिक्सटी एम आई करेक्ट फाइव इयर्स न्यू कार लोन्स इज ऑलवेज फाइव इयर्स न्यू कार ना वेहीकल लोन मेनी ऑफ यू गेट कंफ्यूज इन वेहीकल लोन वेहीकल मीन्स विच वेहीकल आर वी टॉकिंग वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ टू व्हीलर वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ कार बट वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग ऑफ कमर्शियल वेहीकल सपोज ट्रक लोन दैट इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज अ वेहीकल दैट इज अ कमर्शियल वेहीकल ओके सो वेहीकल लोन इज सेपरेट बट इट the repayment period in case of used car now look at this we are talking of used car over here in case of used car is generally 36 emi what is 48 emi 60 emi and 72 emi so it is used car second hand car right so here that depends on what type of car you are purchasing suppose if i am purchasing very old car okay then the very old car the repayment period will be different it can be 24 months also it can be 12 months also depending on bank to bank so it's it are it's upon the bank to decide what should be the repayment period for the used car loans okay depending on the life of that car okay but generally for used car it is everyone what is the answer let me see what is the answer you guys are giving it is a used car it is 36 months 36 okay for used car loans we are giving 36 months and for new car loans it is just uh, fifth uh, what five years 60 months right have you seen for two wheeler two wheeler loans okay tell me for two wheeler what is the period for two wheeler generally two wheeler two wheeler loans are given for what two wheeler loans type in the comment section two wheeler loans are given for what period which period are the two wheeler loans given yes everyone two wheeler two scooter bikes Okay, it is three years. Correct, thirty-six EMI. Scooter, bike, two-wheeler, anything. It is three years. Okay, thirty-six EMI. Next one. Before going ahead, everyone share to join the Adda twenty-four-seven Telegram channel. Share. We are having a separate office of Adda twenty-four-seven Telegram channel. To join this Telegram channel, scan this QR code. Okay. scan the qr code over here and to join the youtube channel scan this qr code okay scan it fast so why should you join this channel tell me why should you join the reason is all the latest updates from iibf understand is from the latest updates from iibf regarding jib and cib they are updated on the channels immediately okay number 1 number 2 Number two, you get free YouTube series. Right now, what are you watching? You guys are watching the same free YouTube series. So the same free YouTube series, you get it on this, on uh, this channel also. Okay, so that's why join this Telegram or the YouTube or the third channel. Third channel, there is the Instagram channel also. So join that Instagram also. Okay. Next one. In case of personal loans. banks have the following type of security so for personal loans what do we take as a security personal okay pl for personal loans what type of security do we take mortgage of property che charge on future income no security any of the above at the discretion of the bank so tell me do i take the mortgage of property For a personal loan, property is taken for which loan? Property is taken for which loan? Yes. See here, pro pro property is taken for. It's not taken for home loan. In home loan, we create the property. That is called as prime security. When we take the property as a security, we take it as a collateral. Which which property? 
if it's an existing property this one okay so mortgage of property is not taken even on home loans home loans we take the mortgage on the new property to be built prime security on collateral security we don't take it for home loans right this mortgage of property is taken for commercial loans for personal loans it's not at all there charge on future income that is also not there see here, some banks do go for this uh, they have a system in nationalized banks some nationalized banks that you will require the uh, this company company to give you the this uh, in writing they will deduct the emi from their salary and pass it on to you but these things are gone now nobody does anything okay so charge on the future income that is also not done no security that is the answer in personal loans there is no security pl is given merely nowadays on the basis of the civil score merely on the basis of civil score only okay so that's why in case of personal loans no security is taken okay next one the credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, which of the following types of loans credit risk credit risk means what firstly you need to understand credit risk credit risk means the default risk default risk means the borrower not paying you suppose if i give a loan to you and if you don't pay then i'll be in trouble so that is known as credit risk so the credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, the loans personal loans home loans vehicle loans and all of the above yes in which type of risk uh, uh, in which type of loan the credit risk is higher everyone let's see one by one in home loans i am having the home right the home which i uh, take as a prime security i have that as a uh, that as a security Suppose if this buyer or borrower does not pay me, then what will happen? I'll mortgage, the loan is, home is mortgaged to me. I'll sell that loan and get my money back. In case of vehicle loans, the vehicle is hypoth... Yeah, tell me one thing. What is this uh, vehicle done? It is uh, mortgaged, hypothecated or assigned. Tell me that. In vehicle loans, is the vehicle mortgaged? hypothecated or assigned what is it done type in the comment section everyone is the vehicle mortgaged hypothecated or assigned everyone yes it is it is hypothecated vehicle is always hypothecated okay home loans home is always mortgaged okay mortgaged got it this uh what gold loan gold is always pledged okay then fdod fd is leaned leaned okay leaned then lean got it Chalo. let's move on the delinquency rate is higher in case of which type of loans so where where is the delinquency means what failure default the default rate is higher in which type of loans personal home loan vehicle loan and all of the above which type of loans will you find this default rate as higher yeah personal home loan vehicle loan and all of the above where the person will be least concerned borrower where the borrower will be least concerned or least worried about the loans in which of them borrower will be least worried in which of these loans is it in personal loan home loan vehicle in home loan the borrower will be afraid if the borrower doesn't pay the emi bank will uh, this property is mortgaged to the bank bank will sell off that property vehicle loan also the the uh, borrower will be afraid that if he he or she does not pay the emi the bank will sell off the vehicle but in personal loans there is no security so the borrower will be least afraid so therefore the delinquency rate or the failure rate of the personal loans is much much higher okay and for to counter this what do we do to counter this we always follow the civil score 
the person with the higher civil score there are less chances see here i am saying chances it's not that the person will not default there are less chances that the person will default in case of personal loans if with a higher civil score okay so that's why in personal loans we take the help of civil or now it is not only civil there are three to four agencies one is civil second is equifax third is transunion right Dun and Brad Street. So there are various agencies. Got it? Now everyone, before going ahead, download Adda 24/7 app. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests, everything. Whatever we need, you will be getting it over here. Okay? So download it. Uh, download it immediately and start studying. Because when are the exams? Not in one month now. Not why one month? Not in 15 days now. Yeah, right? So start studying immediately. Okay. So uh, immediately download it. And how to download it? Just go on App Store. Okay. This Play Store and download it. Immediately it's available. Type at that 24 7 app. Okay. Next one. Personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of the employee, number of years in business annual income of of the business so personal loans are sanctioned generally in, uh, on the basis of what yeah salary in case of employee number of years in business and annual income of the business so is it a to c all or is it uh, a and b only or is it b and c only so what is it what is it It is sanctioned on the basis of everyone. Sanctioned on the basis of personal loans are sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of employee. Is it on the basis of only salary? Or is it on the basis of number of years for businessmen? See here. For salaried employees, it's employee, it's very easy. Just see the salary slip form 16 and you'll get the details of that custom. Right? But businessmen. Business person, there's a problem. Why? Because the balance sheets have to be checked. You have to check the condition of the business. You have to check, check the place of the business. So, personal loans to business businessmen are always difficult. Okay. Annual income in case of businesses, that is also a point. So, if I am giving a loan to any person, now not only this number of years in business. So, B and C will be checked in case of business person. But, in case of employee also nowadays we check where how many years in salary in business or i'll write it here job also job okay because both the things are important even the salaried employee if the person is of temporary nature the job is of temporary nature then what so that's why a b and c all so a to c all is the answer okay so the answer is personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of all the three a to c salary number of years and annual income got it next one the amount now you might be seeing these numbers 251 250 where is it that's why i'm saying join the paid classes there i have shared all these question banks and i'll share it even the revision batches are coming up there also i'll be sharing these revision batches okay so join them immediately okay so the amount of personal loans is classified as big ticket personal loan small ticket personal loan small ticket personal loan for this purpose is a loan where the amount is so small ticket pl where the amount is what up to ten thousand up to twenty thousand up to twenty five thousand and up to fifty thousand so friends, that was the JIB session for you. Now before going, I will always suggest you to join the batches SF for the May exam. See this, go to Adda 24-7. I will always suggest you to first go through the app. Download the app and go to the batches through the app. Because in the app, you are getting the coin system. With the coin system, you can gain around 1% extra. Go to JIB and CIP. Okay. Now here, click on see this, JIB May 24. Click on JIB May 24. Look at this. English Sankalpa Comprehensive Batch. Join this batch as app. 
80 percent off you are getting 80 percent discount rep 80 code already applied over here then click on buy now you'll see this see prep 80 code already applied you are getting 19999 was the fees and you're getting it for 3999.80 huge discount offer available okay and what all you get you get ebooks over here tests over here click on this ebooks look at this subject wise ebooks click on this subject wise ebooks you get it chapter wise ebook in such detail similarly test you'll see the test also you the test are module wise for the subjects okay so very important for you that's why i would suggest join immediately the batches you can join the mahapack also because you're having a lot of time in mahapack you are getting multiple batches see the jib mahapack 2.0 here you are getting multiple batches plus you are getting ebooks tests and very importantly right now double validity and 80 percent off both the things are going on Double validity means you buy it for 6 months, you get 6 months free. You buy it for 12 months, you get 12 months free. Okay. So that's why I would suggest you to join the batches and the Mahapack immediately. Okay. Prep 80 code applied. You will be getting 80% off. Okay. So I'll be back tomorrow with another series. Till then keep studying.